Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see tapered transitions and welding intersection permissible according to ASME section 8, division 1, subsection B, UW9. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now, let us start. So, what, let us see the structure of UW9, how it is structured, and then we'll talk about each clause in detail. So, UW9A talks about what are the permissible types of welds. Okay. UW9B talks about welding grooves. 9C talks about tapered transition. 9D talks about welded intersection, staggering of weld. 9E talks about lap joints. F talks about the closing plate, you know, flathead welded with a shell, tube sheet welded, welded with a shell, how to make that joint. Okay. Great. Now, tapered transition. What is tapered transition? Yes. What is tapered transition? Anybody like to tell? What is tapered transition? Unequal thickness. Samir, absolutely right. So, when we are welding two unequal thicknesses, right, right, Akash, Satya, Amul, everyone, thank you. So, when we are welding two thicknesses which are different, okay, one is high, one is low, then I cannot leave just a step, okay. If we just leave that, okay, I'll just try to make some sketch. Like if I have a these two thicknesses, so I cannot just weld it and leave it with, you know, I cannot do like this, okay? weld like this and leave it. This is not acceptable. There will be lots of stress concentration. Absolutely right, Akash. Okay, bang on. Okay, so there will be lots of stress concentration if I leave it like this. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to make a tapered transition. Okay. I'll have to do tapering. Now, before we study about tapering, you no, know, there is slight exemption which is given. You know, this tapering will be required only when we have the difference in this thickness. If it is more than three, then if it is less than less than three, then we are exempted. So there are two requirements: either less than three or whatever is the thickness of this lower part, lower thickness among the two which we are welding, if the thickness is T, then one fourth of T. Okay. So one fourth of the T or 3 mm. Okay. So if the difference is more than 3 mm or one fourth of the T, whatever is the minimum of these two, then we have to provide tapered transition and tapered transition requirement is very simple. Yes. So, the requirement is very simple. Uh, see this L and Y is the difference. So, Y divided by L, the offset divided by the length of taper. That should be in ratio of 1 is to 3. Okay. Less than 1 is to 3. Okay. So, this taper, I can make this taper even more you know, with angle like this okay this is acceptable if it is the slope is more okay actually the slope is less okay so uh, if i have a very less slope value then it is acceptable i cannot have a slope like this okay the slope of like 1 is to 4 that is acceptable. I cannot have a slope of 1 is to 2. Okay. I cannot have slope of 1 is to 2. Great. I hope uh, it is clear to you. So I'll I can either match the ID of that unequal thickness part, or if I want, I can do the center line matching also. Both of this is permitted okay but generally we try to match the id 
so you will see always the first one first case which we discussed you will see that kind of design mainly okay related to taper transition one more requirement where the nozzle is coming okay when the nozzle neck and we have integral reinforcement okay this is the integral integrally reinforced nozzle so if this is the nozzle configuration then i should have a l that length from where your reinforcement angle will start you know, this angle from where it is starting this length i should have at least 1.5 times of tn tn is the neck thickness so at least that much length i need to maintain where that weld is coming and from where that tapered has stopped okay of the hub okay making sense and the second requirement is related to angle angle should be less than here the angle is this alpha so it should be less than 71.5 okay it can be like this like this so it has to be it it should be less than 71.5 degree okay these are the two requirements when we are having joint of nozzle neck and a flange okay great now about welded in intersections the staggering of weld what is the requirement given in code generally what we follow if we talk about staggering of weld if you guys remember whether it is first of all compulsory to stagger the weld as per code Akash is saying yes. Like if I have a weld, two long sims coming like this, whether I need to stagger? Akash is saying yes. Himanshu is saying at least 40 I should maintain. What about others? Is it mandatory? Kishore is saying no. Amol is saying yes. So I think apart from Kishore, everybody is saying yes, right? Anyone with no? Great. So now if you just read it again, Samir is saying 5T. But is it mandatory that I need to have 5T staggering? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we understand the reason. Uh, there is HZ. But is it mandatory? Himanshu is now exactly to the point. Unless ready graft. Okay. Now let us summarize what we do. So first of all, We'll talk about general practice, what we do. Okay, then we'll come to uh, code. So we always try to stagger the weld. I'm not talking about what code says. I'm just talking about what we generally do. So we always try to stagger the two long sims with a distance greater than 5T. Okay, that is what we do. Now, from where it is coming, now what code says? Let us discuss that. Okay. Code says that if we have Two long sims like this. If the distance is less than 5T, okay. If it is greater than 5T, definitely, you know, we have staggered and we don't need ex anything extra. But if it is less than 5T, and if we do radiography of 100, 100 mm all around, if we do radiography of 100 mm from the center point you know from where this long sim is coming so 100 mm 100 mm and 100 mm then it is permitted to even have less than 5t even i can have a weld like this yeah i can have a weld like this it is not a good engineering practice we generally try to avoid but as per code it is possible okay making sense yeah so if we are having weld like this then again we have to do we have to follow the radiography requirement of 100 mm all around and then we can have this event coming next to each other okay but generally please remember try to maintain 5t because you know there will be if more welds are coming there will be lots of heat treatment 
you know which the even the adjacent of this world will be going on which is again again so that will deteriorate your quality of the material also so it's better to avoid but as per code you are not restricted okay so it's uh siddharth it's about 100 mm each side even sir sim long sim both side we should have radiography 100 100 mm okay from the center line i hope you understood this part stay tuned for more videos related to welding requirements